welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe and I hope you're having a wonderful day. We are doing a Christmas haul. I've been meaning to do this for the past, well, since Christmas. But, you know, I got overwhelmed, so I didn't. But now here I am to show you how lucky I was at Christmas. And I was so lucky and I got so many amazing presents and I just want to share it with you. Just going to say that thing because, you know, people say, oh, you're showing off. I'm not showing off. I'm just so excited and happy. I want to share it with you because, you know, when you get excited and happy, you want to share it with people. So before further ado, let's show you what I got for Christmas. So I actually got this jumper that I'm wearing now. It's this Hollister jumper. I've never owned like a Hollister jumper or anything before. It's just like the classic one, navy with the little Hollister things and it's really really comfy and I really like it. As you could tell by the thumbnail I'm guessing for this video, I got the Lego Disney Castle. Like, ah, I got the Lego Disney Castle. Like, oh my goodness. Ah, I cannot tell you how long I have wanted this for. I have literally wanted this for years. I've seen it in like all the Lego shops when I went to Disney World and every time I see it I'm like oh one day I'll get that castle. I want to get that castle one day and I never have and mum surprised me with it this year and she bought it for me. So now I have the, the Lego castle for Disney World. I was so excited. I had no idea. I literally, I was not expecting this at all. I was not expecting it at all. It was a complete surprise, but like an amazing surprise. I've actually, <laughs> I've actually already built it. So I'll insert a picture like up in the corner or something to show you what it looks like. But yeah, it was so much fun to build. It was like, I think it was like 750 steps to it or something, but it was so fun. And on the back, you can see the inside of the castle too. It's amazing. So I'm going to try and do it in some sort of order. I don't know how well that will go, but we will see. So I'm going to start off with like some clothes and kind of things like that. So I got this. It's a dressing gown. Let's see how well I can show you this. So it's this really, really cute Mickey and Minnie dressing gown. I love it. It's so soft as well. And it's got like fleecy lining and like a fleecy hood and everything. But look at this pattern. Mickey and Minnie and... Oh, now I can replace my dressing gown because the one I've had, the one I've had at the moment, I've had it for like ages. So, love a brand new dressing gown. I got a couple of scarves. So I got this yellow one, which I absolutely love. I love the colour yellow. It's one of my favourite colours. So I got this and I love it. And then the other colour I got was this like white and pink one with like bits of grey in it as well. So that's really cute as well. This is really funny. I got these. I got these gloves, but mum and dad had the same idea, so mum got me a pair and dad got me a pair, and they didn't know, so I've got two gloves exactly the same, but I, I really like them, they're really cute, they've got my initials on it, but I'll just like keep one in the car and one in my handbag or something, but <laughs> I just thought it's funny how I got two of the exact same. I got some new socks for Christmas, and it's always nice to get new socks for Christmas. I got a few pairs. I got these ones. These are little mint green polar bears, which I'm going to put away for next Christmas. I've got these ones, which are purple with these like sloths and leaves on it, which is really cute. I got these Cinderella ones, and that's what it looks like on the back. And then I got this pack of Winnie the Pooh ones, and it's got Tigger, Eeyore, Rabbit, Piglet, and Pooh. So they're really cute. So now I've got lots of new socks going into the new year. And what else is great for the new year? New pyjamas. I love a pair of new pyjamas. There is, well, I'm in pyjamas like all of the time. Now more than like ever, I have been like basically living in pyjamas. I'm in my pyjama bottoms right now. I just put the jumper over the top. <laughs> but anyway, I got these ones. These are, oh this is the shirt. So it's this really nice like stripy pan, it's really nice colours, it kind of reminds me of toothpaste or bubblegum. But this is like a button up shirt, and then to go with the button up shirt is these like really long trousers. 
And then I also got this pair, which is some Winnie the Pooh ones. I think they're really cute. That is the little pattern on them. It's got like Piglet and Pooh, and it's got these little like red embroidered stars. They're super cute. So I love those ones as well. I got this hoodie, which is really cool. I don't have anything like this. I don't tend to go for a lot of black things. I'm more of like a bright, colourful person. But I really like this. It's like a nice, like, kind of staple colour you can wear with everything. But it's really cute because it's got, like, the steamboat Mickey and things on it. It's so cute. It's like an old school, like, Mickey film. And this has got, like, it's got a hood as well. So, love that. Then the last of my clothing items is this. This is also from Hollister. It's really cute. It's got these really nice three boo butterflies on it. Boo butterflies? <laughs> Blue butterflies on it. And it's like a long sleeve with like little crinkles on it. And that is like right up my street. My dad got me this really cute blanket. Uh, I don't know how well I'll be able to show you this. But it's really cute. It looks like a postcard. Um, like a postcard or like something. And it's just got like a really nice, um, really nice words on it. And I really like it. It's really special. So I got that. Now what's another thing that you get like a ton of at Christmas? chocolate but I didn't think I'd get any like chocolates and thing this year because this is the first Christmas that I um, am vegan I went vegan in February so this was my first Christmas being vegan and I actually got a lot of vegan chocolate like everybody like found like some chocolate that I could eat which was really nice so I have got some chocolates to show you so in this little snowman box I have got a few different ones, they're really cute. So these are the chocolates inside. They're by this brand, I think the brand is Pure Heavenly, that's what it says up here, so I think that's the brand. And I got a few different ones, so there's a silk one, coffee, salted caramel, um, got a raspberry, mint chocolate and banana. So I have got like loads of little chocolates. I've never tried this brand before but they look delicious. Then I got this. This is a hammy. It is a Moo Free Hammy White Strawberry Hamster. Isn't it cute? It's like a giant hamster that tastes like white strawberry chocolate. I've had the Moo Free stuff before but never the white strawberry chocolate so I'm really looking forward to this and it looks like a hammy so it's super cute. I got this selection box. This is a free from selection box. I'm not sure where it's from, but it's got um got a couple of chocolate bars, a couple of like festive shapes and some chocolate coins. So that's really nice. I got some candy kittens. I'm not sure if I've tried these before. I think I've tried a different flavor before. And these are wild strawberry. So looking forward to giving those a go. Some Frutella koalas. I can't remember if I've tried the koalas before but I've had the snakes of these and they are really good. This is another brand of chocolate that I haven't tried before but looks super good. It is called Montezuma's Extraordinary Chocolate and it looks amazing. This one's like a milk chocolate and this one's like an orange version and they look delicious. And then I also got these they're milk chocolate buttons. Actually they're not buttons, they're like bumps. They're like little like half domes. They're so cute. So I'm really looking forward to trying this brand as well because I love finding new brands of great chocolate and this looks like a good one. I've got some little chocky buttons by this company. It's Choices Choc Rondellos. Never tried those before. Um, this I have tried and it's really good. It's a mini moo caramel bar. And then I have this moo free white chocolate snowman. So I hope it actually looks like a snowman because that would be so cute. Then I got these. These are salted caramel reindeers. They sound delicious. Before I went vegan, I had um, used to have those dairy milk caramel buttons and they were amazing. But I can't have those anymore, so these sound like perfect. And then I got this. This is astronaut strawberries. It is whole strawberries, freeze-dried, ready to eat. This is what the astronauts eat, like, when they're in space. Like, they're literally freeze-dried strawberries, like, so that would be really fun to try. Then I got this tin of chocolates and things. I can't have most of the things in here because they're not vegan, but that's okay. It came with this little, um, 
little Chloe elf decoration which is so cute and the tin is super nice and inside it's got like loads of things it's got milk bottles like Maltesers, jelly beans, fruit pastels yeah just loads of candy then I got these if you don't know I love to bake so I've got these they're silicone molds which I don't have any of this is like a loaf tin then this one's a round baking tin and this one's like a square one so I'm really excited to try these out because I've never had like silicone things before so that'll be fun then I got this wait until I get this out it looks amazing it is a glass jar to like store food in like a glass food storage container oh my goodness it looks so pretty so this is what it looks like and it's lovely isn't it it's got a bamboo lid and like the actual jar is glass but it's got all these different flowers around it it's beautiful I love it so I can't wait to store my goodies in here by the way if you haven't guessed already we've moved on to like the kitcheny food things so next up I got these these are amazing they're salt and pepper shakers but they look like wands isn't that cute they look like little fairy wands one for salt one for pepper and they're gonna be so fun because you'll get to like kind of do the bibbidi bobbidi poo thing with it then I got this little plate it's like a wood wood on the back and orange on the front and just a nice little side plate that I can serve things on I think this will be really nice in the summer eating like a sandwich out in the garden then I got these which are really handy they're like um baking mats and sheets and things so this one is like a small rectangle but it has like measurements across it so if you need to like measure something out to a certain like length there's that one then this one has like circles on it and also it has the measurements on it as well but then this one's really cool as well because like when you're making biscuits and stuff it has like the little um circles where you need to spread out the biscuits on so i thought that would be really cute and handy to have in the kitchen then i got this little travel mug it's made of bamboo i think and it says be happy on it it's so cute and it has like bumblebees and butterflies and it's yellow and i love yellow and i love bees and butterflies so love this I got this little set which is super cute, it's a little mini vegan cookies book and a little stamp that says vegan on it. So this is really cute and I can't wait to try out some of the cookies in this. This, I got a knife, <laughs> but it's not like an ordinary knife, it's crinkly! It's like a crinkly knife which will be so fun to make chips, like chips or like, I don't know, any vegetables. Like you can cut out any vegetables and they will be crinkly. Like how fun is that going to be to make like crinkly things? And I love crinkly shaped things. Then last up for like the homey kind of foodie bits is this. It's a reusable kitchen towel. Reusable paper towels. They're made of I think bamboo. Yeah they're made of bamboo. And it says that one roll of normal paper will last, this one will last six times that. So I think you just like wash it out, you use a slice and then wash it out and you can use it again. And I love reusable things. But I tell a lie, I was almost finished, the housey stuff. I have this mug that my dad got me this, this <laughs> crazy vegan lady. And like it has the little, little vegetables <laughs> with vases in the trolley. <laughs> Does it look like me? Hmm. I got this little reusable shopping bag with bees on it, love bees, and I got this, my brother got me this, and he said he didn't even know I wanted one, I've wanted one of these for so long, if you don't know what it is, it's to put cupcakes in it, this holds I think like 2, 4, 6, 8 times 3, 8, 16, 24, it holds 24 cupcakes, so when I like not that I'm going to any parties or like people's houses at the moment but eventually when we can I've always wanted to do some of these I love to make cupcakes for like all events so carrying the cupcakes in this is going to be so much easier usually I carry it in a box or like a like a I don't know but they will kind of move and like smush and this is going to be great so now I can like take all my cupcakes safely to their destination I also love jigsaws and I got this really nice one it is uh, of this Disney thing, it's got loads of characters in it and it looks amazing. A thousand pieces which is my favourite, anything less than a thousand I find too easy. <laughs> so I love this one and I can't wait to do this print. 
I also got a Disney Princess 2021 annual, so can't wait to have a read through that. I got a book for the Lake District. These are different walks in the Lake Districts and things. I've been there once before and I really want to go back and like do all the proper walks. Last time I went I only like saw the lakes and things but didn't go on any proper walks and I really want to do that next time I go. So it's just a kind of a different lake, different walk around the lake for every page. So that will be really fun to take with me and visit different places. When we can. I got this book, it's a Winnie the Pooh book. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, blink, Monday. <laughs> and that's how the week tends to go, isn't it? The weekend goes so quickly. So I got that notebook. I got this, which is a little magnetic memo pad. It's got the, like, liney paper, a pencil, and then on the top is this really lovely little, like, cottage with, like, a cat and some flowers. And then on the back is a little magnetic board, so I could use it as a shopping list or, like, a to-do list. And that's really cute. I also got these little note cards. I love note cards to write, like, little messages and things to people. And this has some bunny ones and some little fox ones. So cute. I got this colouring book. I love colouring and I love space and so I got this earth space colouring book and it looks so difficult and this is something that you're going to have to have like a lot of different coloured pens for because if I show you like this one I'm going to need to buy myself some colouring pencils I think to like be able to match the colours to these but that's going to keep me busy for ages. On the topic of space I got a couple different spacey bits. So inside this box is, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but it's like, this is like a light at the bottom and it shines and it's like got all the planets inside of it. Isn't that cool? It's got like all of the planets inside this glass ball and you stand on here and it lights up. So that's going to look so pretty on a shelf or something. All the planets. And then I also got this, I'm sorry but I won't be able to tell you what this says it's in a different language. I think maybe Japanese, but let me show you. It is this little thing that I'm going to try and show you. It's the Milky Way inside like a little glass dome. Isn't that cute? That's like the Milky Way in there. I love things to do with space, so I love this. I got this little game. It is a 90s, Disney's 90s films trivia, which will be so fun. My favourite movies were all made in like the 90s, so this will be so much fun to play with everyone. Also for next year, I'm keeping this. It is a little paint your own bauble set. It's like this little snowman. Now, I think I might do Vlogmas next year. I've never done Vlogmas before, but I think I might do Vlogmas this year. Well, 2021 Vlogmas. So, might do that. Look how cute these pencils are. They're like little woodland creature pencils. Like you've got a little moose and a bunny, a fox, and is that a bear? Or a, uh, I'm not sure. But they're so cute. Gay Christmas! I got this little pom-pom pen. Woo! A rainbow pen. And a bee pen. Not to mention my candy cane pencil. I got a box of 12 bath bombs and they're all in different scents and they sound like they smell amazing. Bath bombs, I love a good bubble bath. Put a bath bomb in, something really bubbly, make it smell nice. And these have like loads and loads of different scents in it. Oh, I've got this. This is like a little perfume. Is it perfume or like... Oh no, it's one of those, um, you do toilets. An you do toilet with like these three bath rose, roses? Flowers in there, so they're really pretty. And I love the bottle on this. Isn't that such a pretty bottle? Then inside this little gingerbread house, which is really cute on its own, I've got some little bath bombs and things in here from Lush. So I will get those out and show you. So, we have got this one, which looks like Rudolph's uh, nose, I think. I'm not sure what the names are. There's this colourful snowman. He looks fun. I have got a candy cane. This one smells amazing. It is this hippo. I'm not sure what his real name is, but the hippo smells amazing. He smells really good. And then also in here, I got this little 
sleepy uh, sleepy shower gel because I've been really struggling to sleep lately I don't know what it is I don't know maybe it's just because I've like been more anxious than usual more stressed but really hoping this sleepy shower gel will really help I also got this other sleepy shower gel <laughs> really need these sleepy things this is a land of nod shower gel I think it's just in lavender yeah and then to go with it it's not this one it's this one land of nod pillow spray but then also I have this pillow spray which is tesserand uh, lavender and sandalwood pillow spray so now I have all my all my sleepy sprays and bubble baths I'm gonna sleep good reindeer soap sweet mandarin and grapefruit body wash and uh, lotion four bath fizzes these are by Bayless and Harding and they have the um, little llamas on them which are cute then I got this little set which is pink lemonade and fizzy lemonade shower gels this Hollister hair and body mist I got some hair straighteners because I really really needed some new hair straighteners and this is what I asked my dad for because he asked what he what he should get me this year so I said I'd love some hair straighteners so I have got these these actually match my hair dryer they're the purple babyless ones in velvet orchid so now I have some hair straighteners missed out a little pen I've got this rose gold pen with Chloe on it I got this this is a bag made of cork it's it's got um I think it's got bubble bath in it it's got a shower gel and a shampoo inside they're in coconut water and mimosa flower so they're going to be really fun to try out so I will let you know how they are but I just think the bag's really cool it's like made of cork like how cool is that it's like pink and blue and so cool Chloe's lucky coin I got some converse and wait until you see them like these are right up my street before I show you I didn't even know these converse existed my mum got some for my little brother Oakley which are very very similar and I and I said to her they are so cool like I wish they came in adult size because like he's a baby so won't fit my shoe size but she found these converse with animals on them how cool are these they got rhinos, tigers, parrots, gorillas, got a crocodile, zebra, and I think the same, oh and a little sloth and a giraffe on this one. But these are so cool. I was so excited when I saw these. I didn't know they existed, but these are right up my street. I love animals and the environment. Talking of like plants, animals and the environment, I got this little set which I desperately needed. It is a house plant set because <laughs> I've been repotting house plants using my fingers because I didn't have a shovel. So now I've got like, I won't get it all out, but there's like a rake, spade, like water bottles, everything I need to keep, to keep my house plant collection alive because I've got a lot. Then to display my house plants, I've got this pack, I think there's three. Yeah, there's three in here. I will show you what they look like. So you hang it up by this little gold hoop and it's one of those things and you put the plant pot in this bit so the plant pot goes in there and then it hangs down with this little tassel it's a bit hard to explain but it looks really pretty with the house plant pot in there with the thing so I might do a room redecoration video so keep tuned for that and I will show you how they look I got this, this is really handy, it is a moisture meter so it tells you how wet or dry the soil is and on the back it says all the different kinds of plants so you know if they're where they should be with like watering these are really fun they are a butterfly seed balls and each each seed ball has 50 different wildflower seeds in it that attract butterflies and you get quite a few in here this is what they look like they're like these little clay balls with seeds in them and so I can grow like really easily grow loads of wildflowers for butterflies so you have probably noticed my outfit has completely changed my makeup's changed my hair has changed I went to edit my video and the last part of it completely deleted like I am so annoyed so annoyed then I have to do it all over again but that's okay so I'm just going to go through and show the last few bits that I didn't get to show again so here we go 
So I got this yellow sewing machine. It is like a retro, it's not actually a retro one, but it's made to look like a retro sewing machine and I love it, it's bright yellow. And for those of you that don't know, I have a little Etsy shop. I haven't been doing it for a while, but my new year's plan is to start my Etsy again. I make like Disney ears, like headbands, scrunchies, and I have a few other bits in mind that I am going to try out this year. So if you could check out my Etsy shop, that would be amazing. I'll leave the link in the description below. But I'm so glad I got this because I was doing all of my Etsy orders um, like handmade and it took me absolutely ages to like sew every order. So now I have an actual sewing machine. It's going to be so much quicker, so much better. And I could do so many more amazing things. I have so many ideas of things that I want to make. So keep an eye out and if you could check that out, that would be amazing. And then to go with the sewing machine, I have this giant box of threads. There is 60 different colors in here. So one for like every color of everything that I can possibly imagine to make. So I'm so excited. I also got some fabric. This is like some blue ones. There is like loads of different designs all in like a blue color. I will show you a few. So we've got like these ones, like florals, leaves. It's a bit hard to show you, checkered. But so many lovely patterns on here. So I can make, maybe I'll make some nice floral scrunchies or something with this. So keep an eye out for that if you like these kind of patterns. Then I got a glue gun, which is inside here. I have a glue gun that I paid five pounds for and it is quite bad and it like leaks all the time and it just like wastes all the glue. So I'm so happy. This is what it looks like. It is this gray and orange one and this is like a proper glue gun. So now all my orders again are going to be amazing with my brand new glue gun. And also I got this, which is a pink cutting board and it like folds out. It sews it through A3 or A4 and it's pink and I love it. And that means I can like do everything on here and I won't mess up the floor or the tables because I have been getting glue and threads everywhere. So that is all kind of like my sewing arts and crafts kind of bits that I got. And I would really love if you could check it out. I have so many amazing ideas that I want to try out and I just really hope that you like them. Next up, I got some earrings. I got a few pairs of earrings. So I've got these ones, which are really nice kind of yellow flowers. These ones are little astronauts sitting on the moon. They're super cute. Um, these are like from the Science Museum and a fun fact, these are from my boyfriend and I was meant to meet him. The first time we ever met was meant to be at the Science Museum, but that didn't end up happening and we are still yet to visit the Science Museum to this day. But as soon as everything opens back up again and everything's good, I'm going to go to the Science Museum with him and wear these earrings. He also got me these two. He, he said he wasn't sure if I'd like them or not, but they were a bargain because they were like 15p, so he got them. And it's the, this gold one with little pearls. And then these like really big dangly floral ones. I'm not sure what I think of them yet, but um, I will try them on and see what I think. But it's a pretty pattern. I do like it. Mum got me these earrings. They are dangly Pixar balls. They're so cute. This is from a little Etsy shop online. I will leave you the link in the description below if you want to get some. But she got me these and I love them. Dangly Pixar balls. And then the last pair of earrings I got is from my bunny popcorn and they are absolutely adorable. So my little bunny popcorn got me these earrings. They're little carrots. Oh, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but they're like tiny little carrot earrings and I love them. So now every time I wear these little carrot earrings, it will remind me of my little baby popcorn. I got a couple of lip balms, one's in vanilla and one's in mint. I got a few nail varnishes. I got this one, which is in, in a heartbeat. It's like a pinky color. I really love this one. It's called pistachio and it is this lovely kind of green color. I love this one. And then if you know me, you know that I love glitter and all things sparkly. So I got these three in a green, a blue and a pink kind of sparkly ones. And I love those. I got this reusable face um, makeup remover cloth. I don't have any of these. I've just been using wipes, 
but I love the idea of using this because it's like reusable and will save like all the like wipe staying in the environment. It's this nice pink looking soft one and I can't wait to use that. Hey darling, you like to be? <laughs> there he is, say hi popcorn. Mwah. I then got a few different hair bits. I got these three scrunchies, which is all in the same pattern, but different colors, a purple, a yellow, and kind of a brown one. They're really cute. And then I got this scrunchie, which is white with little blue flowers. And I got this one, which is like a light pink kind of silk, but it's one of those ones with the long bows at the back, which I love. It's gonna look so cute. I love like headbands and scrunchies and everything like that. I also got these two hair clips. They've got like this big clip at the back and one is blue and one is purple. And this reminds me of Belle and this reminds me of Rapunzel. So I really like them. I got a massive pack of hair bubbles because hair bubbles are one of those things that like go missing all the time. So got a nice fresh set of hair bubbles. I've got this set of four clips. I'm not sure how to use them yet. I've never had anything like it. But they've got these four different clips. You get all four and you can do the different patterns on it. Not patterns, but like hairstyles, like a like a butterfly twist and things. And I'm not sure how to do it, but I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes. Just so you can see how I'm filming. <laughs> Little popcorn's just chilling out beside me. I got this really lovely mirror. It kind of matches my wallpaper. It's got a toucan and a parrot on it, and I love it. On the other side is just like a mirror, and I love that. This is from my little baby brother, Oakley, and this has a really special meaning to it. It is this little Pandora charm. I will try and show you as best as I can, but it is the little Cinderella mouse with the little thread, and it's so cute. And I'll tell you why this has a really nice meaning to it. It's because I play this song to him all the time, the little Cinderella song where the mice are like making her dress for her. I play that to him all the time and it just cheers him up if he goes a bit frowny, you put it on and he'll smile. And like just any time you play it, he'll just smile. He loves that song so much. So I got the little charm to remind me of that little moment. I got a couple of different necklaces. This is the first one. This is actually a choker and I um, don't know if chokers suit me or I like them because it's really tight. So I might move this to a, um, a plain chain but the charm is really, really cute. It's like a little tiki bird. I love the tiki room in Disney World and I love parrots. So it's got this really cute parrot on it. So I think I'm gonna move this little parrot charm to a silver necklace and it looks so cute. And then the other one I got is this purple one. It's just on a silver chain with this big purple stone on it. It's really pretty. So the next thing I got is these little black glasses. They look like kind of standard glasses, but they're actually blue light glasses. And it's really good for if you're looking at a screen a lot of the time, like if you're like watching movies, editing videos, watching YouTube, on your phone a lot, especially at nighttime, it will like block out the blue light. So you, because blue light makes you stay awake for longer. So it blocks it out and then hopefully you get sleepy. And it just really helps with like preventing damages to your eyes. So I've got this nice pair of blue light glasses. This is what they look like. How do I look? Mm. But these are gonna be so handy for me because when I edit all my videos and things, it'll be perfect. The next thing I got is this and I will show you what it is. So it is a portable charger for your phone. So whenever you're out, you can charge your phone up. But the cool thing is it's actually a solar panel. So it charges by light solar panels which is really cool it just kind of folds up like the size of a purse and then you can just pop that this is going to be really handy for when we can travel again especially in long car journeys you can put it out on the dashboard and like it will soak up the light and then you have instant phone charge i got this really cute little mickey padlock it's a little lock and key it's really really cute so again when i go traveling i can pop that on a little bag or something or a suitcase and it looks so cute. I'm not gonna get this out the box because I already looked at it and I accidentally cut myself a little bit because it's really sharp. It's like a multi-tool. It's got loads of different things on the back. It's got like a knife and a screwdriver and all kinds of useful handy things that I can use for all sorts of things if a problem should arise. I got this, I've, these are actually my, my AirPods already, but I didn't have a case for them. So I've now got this little case to put my AirPods in and it's a little dino that says, hug me. 
I got a new phone case, which I absolutely love. It has got sea turtles on it, and I absolutely love sea turtles. Like when I go to the aquariums and things, I love looking at the sea turtles. I find them so interesting. So I absolutely love this. My boyfriend recently got a new iPad. So he's given me his old iPad as he said, it's not as a present for the actual iPad, but he's bought this case for it for me for Christmas. So I've got this nice little green case that kind of folds out and everything. And yeah, so now I've got that. I have got this and you may be wondering what is inside this mysterious black case? Tools. And that doesn't make it any less suspicious, does it? But they are actually aquarium tools because I have a couple of fish tanks and they're for like trimming plants and doing gravel and just all kind of the aquarium-y kind of things that I need. Then I got this pack of three bamboo toothbrushes. I absolutely love bamboo toothbrushes. I use them all the time now. I think I switched like about a year ago and like completely been plastic ones. So it's so bad for the environment, plastic toothbrushes. So I have got this pack of three bamboo toothbrushes and they're in different bristle head colors too, which is so cool. And then I also got this pack of two toothbrushes, which is for me and my boyfriend actually. It's got little patterns on it. So one's a bow tie and one's a little necklace. So when we go traveling, I will take these along for me and him to use. And then last but not least, I have got a little sign to put in my car. Well, I don't have a car at the minute. It recently broke and I'm currently looking for a new car. But when I get my new car, I have this little sign to put on it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your up. <laughs> I love dinosaurs and this is so cute. So that is the end of my Christmas haul. Thank you so, so much for watching. And thank you to everybody that kindly gave me all these gifts. And I'm so excited and I'm so happy I could share it with you all. I hope you have a wonderful week and a wonderful day. And I will see you again next time. Please like the video so I know if you liked it and subscribe to see more videos. See you later.